Today, I'll try to implant a false memory into your mind. I'll need you to have a pen and paper ready, or just use your phone to write something down. We are starting the test after the intro, so pause the video right now if you're not ready. Okay, for the first part, you will see a few words on the screen for 30 seconds. Try to memorize those words, and in the second part, write as many words as you can recall from the list. It's that simple. Ready? Let's start. All right, write down as many words as you can. Got your answers? Keep them close. By the end of this video, we'll see how many words you can recall and how susceptible you can be to forming a false memory. What you just took was a simple cognitive test used in false memory research called the dis rodiger mcdermott task, or DRM. In this exercise, you're presented with a list of semantically related words that are under a specific critical lure word. A critical lure is a related but never presented word and results from false memory. False memory is a psychological phenomenon when we recall something that never really happened or remember something significantly different from what actually happened. So why do false memories form? It's basically because our brains and memories love to fill in the blanks, and also because we become very suggestible when presented with new information in a process called retroactive interference. In retroactive interference, learning new information makes it difficult for us to recall previously learned information. Basically, the new memory is disrupting the older memory. For example, let's say you're going grocery shopping to buy the ingredients for your mom's apple cake recipe, but before shopping, you come across a new apple cake recipe. You might end up buying items from the new recipe thinking it is part of your mom's recipe. That's retroactive interference. If older memories interfere with the encoding of newer memories, then we call that proactive interference. And in this case, maybe some ingredients from your mom's apple cake recipe might slip into the new recipe you wanted to try. Now, let's see how you did on the DRM task. How many words were you able to remember correctly? And most importantly, did you include the word cold? If you did, your brain just formed a false memory. While the test we did here was harmless, it shows how easy it is to insert a false memory. In other scenarios such as eyewitness testimonies, misleading questions like did you see the man crossing the road instead of did you see anybody crossing the road can lead to distorted recalls and have serious consequences. It is very difficult to avoid forming a false memory since it's not something we can easily spot. We often think our memories happened and are real. What we can do to increase the chances of remembering things correctly is to closely think about the details without outside influence. It also helps if there is tangible evidence that can help you reshape memories and remember events more accurately. Remember to stay vigilant. Your mind can be playing tricks on you. See you in the next video.